fabulous shine at the end of it. Kind of cool. Just gonna take this iron. So spade we had there. I'm just gonna shape our plastic, melt it down. This will also melt it into the joining surfaces, creating a shelf, flat tail essentially. Adding to the stability of our weld zone. Important to make sure the spade stays nice and hot through this process. If the temperature isn't achieved properly, the fusion isn't actually happening, the, the plastic isn't liquefying enough. Just gotta make sure the plastic is liquefying and make sure we get proper fusion. Without that, we're just kinda smearing plastic around, not really fusing or welding, per se. Some of these angles can be kind of challenging to get to. Here. And this will just bridge that. And because this has glass fiber in it, it's going to add strength. And so by this smoothing out in both ends. It's going to help really strengthen that bond in that area, give it more stability, do a little reheating. Try not to burn my fingers while I'm at it. Get that nice and hot. That nice and hot. That's that's it, there's the we'll smooth that out, the finishing, a little Dremel work, and that'll be good. I'll go through and do the underside too, make sure that it's front and back. Make sure this is a solid bond. We're all done. Spray a little flat black on it. Never even know we did anything here. Job will be done properly. Not just glued on. And this should last the length of the car. In fact, it should break in other places and not in the same spot because we made it stronger, denser, filled in all those little gaps. So the area around it will break next time, not the actual weld zone. True story. I've seen it happen.